Yo, what is going on, YouTube? I'm your host, Biscuits, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be customizing the Anis Hellion. This vehicle is primarily based off a Nissan Patrol Safari Y60 in real life. The Anis Hellion can be purchased from Southern San Andreas Super Autos for $835,000. All right, so starting off with the armor and the brakes for the front bumpers. Looks like we have a front bumper delete, ram plate, primary ram, secondary ram, bull bar, primary bull, secondary bull, lifted ram. Primary lifted, secondary lifted, bull bar two. That one looks pretty sick. Um, for one, from what I have read online, the fog lights that you're seeing that are not actually functional, so they don't add any extra light. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind as I'm going forward with this build. Okay, so personally, this is my favorite visually, but the fog lights are not functional. So with that being said, I'm probably going to go with this uh, bull bar. I think that is looking good for the rear. Got the rear bumper delete, of course. We got a light cage. Looks like it adds some uh, cage protectors to both of the taillights. Kind of a good look. Uh, you can same thing with the primary. Secondary, we've got the ram bar, primary ram, secondary ram. Got the competition kit, primary competition, and secondary competition. We're going to go with the ram bar. I think that matches the front well. Onto the engine, let's go ahead and go all the way up on that. For the exhaust, looks like we can completely get ridiculous with it and uh, have it come out the hood and suddenly it turns into a turbo diesel apparently, judging by the circumference of that exhaust pipe. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, intersected turbo, interesting, big daddy turbo, okay, wow. <laughs> Oh man, this thing, you can really make it absolutely ridiculous. V8. Oval intake bud catcher. In case, you know, you want to make it into a uh, 70s muscle car, you can do that. E triple intake. Twin turbo. Twin turbo with air filters. And stock. Man, okay, so I don't really have any options here besides stock, unless I want to go absolutely insane with it and... I uh, just, I don't really feel like any of those fit for this build. I'm kind of going for just for an off-roading build. Nothing insane like a race car, so. All right, on to the fenders. So it looks like we can do a fender delete. We can add the stock fenders back, but we can make them primary, secondary as well. Uh, bolted fenders, primary bolted. Got the secondary bolted flared fenders. That looks kind of nice. Primary flared. Ooh, yeah. That'll probably that'll probably be the ticket. Secondary flared. Okay. Primary flared for sure. That looks very nice. All right. On to the grill. We can do a grill delete. Exposed chrome. Exposed carbon. Got the graded grill. Chrome piped. Carbon piped. Chrome slatted. Carbon slatted, got the anise grill, carbon anise. We're gonna go with the anise grill. I think that looks uh, the best. Horn, we'll leave. Lights, those are fine as is. All right, so for the livery options, let's go ahead and scroll through these and see how they look. So we have white stripes, we got some black stripes. The Atomic Sponsor. 
Got Redwood. Number 56. It's kind of, an, uh, kind of a cool inch livery there. I like that. Got the uh, Lube in 69. Got the Globe Ranger. Patriot Beer. Doesn't get any more American than that. Impotent Rage. And the Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare is kind of cool. It's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a little bit of a uh, monster truck grave digger reference. If you guys are familiar with uh, monster trucks, so I'm not sure about liveries. We will come back. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on my custom biscuits plate. Respray will come back. Roll cage. I'm not a big roll cage fan. Alright, for the roof, we can throw on a light bar, the raid rack, or the raid kit. Uh, so, again, I don't believe any of these lights are functional, but I'll go ahead and throw the raid kit on. So, on to the side skirts. We got some slat, primary slat, secondary. Pipe step, primary pipe, secondary, lifted, pipe, primary, got the secondary lifted, okay. I like the slat skirt, subtle, nothing too crazy, we're going to go with that. Now suspension, this is an off-road build so it really does not make sense to lower it at all. Now I know that it will handle better. It, if it is lowered, but we're not going to be racing this thing. So we're going to leave that stock. Transmission will go ahead and go all the way up on that. Turbo, absolutely. Window plates. Primary, secondary. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I am curious to know if the window plates, if it makes it bulletproof from the back. Not that this vehicle is anything made for PvP, but I am interested to know that. Um, but we'll go ahead and leave those stock for now, and let's just go ahead and limo tent them all around. Black out the tent. Looks good. Alright, on to the wheels. We are definitely going to have to do some off-road wheels on this. So we got the Rugged Snowflake. Concave Rally Master. We're gonna go with the concave rally master. I mean, that's these are probably the best looking off-road tires. You really can't go wrong. So wheel color. I'm not sure what we're doing yet for those. We will come back to that after we figure out the respray for the tires. Let's go ahead and do some custom tires. Let everyone know we are on all terrain, and we will go bulletproof, of course. Let's go back to that uh, respray. This uh, desert tan color just caught my eye, and I think it looks really good in a matte finish on this car, so let's go with that. Uh, for the secondary, it looks like it's just the pinstripe you can see there from the side. Let's uh, go ahead and confirm that. See if it does anything to the interior. Alright, so the secondary is literally just that pinstripe on the side. So let's just go with a matte black to match it up to the grill and the rear bumper and the roof rack we got on there. Alright. Looking pretty clean uh, for the wheels. All right, we're going to go with the stone silver for the finish on the wheel color. Okay, now that is everything. So let's go ahead and get this uh, outside, do a little sound test and a little test drive as well. Alrighty, and here is the sound test.
All right, doesn't sound like anything that great. Doesn't sound like anything that special, which really is not surprising. That doesn't sound anything amazing. I mean, this is just kind of an off-road two-door. It's not going to be anything like a V12 race car sound. So, alrighty. So, first driving impressions. This thing is slow. <laughs> uh, really should not be any surprise to to anyone. I mean, it's didn't expect this to be that fast. Braking is actually not too bad on it. Um, handling wise, not too bad either. Let's real quick confirm. Yep, so this is a all wheel drive vehicle, which makes sense. It is a four x four off-roader, so can't imagine it being anything else. Okay, so it does have a little bit of a rollover issue, as you just saw. I did not lower the suspension at all, so that probably is why, but we want to have the most ground clearance as possible with this thing, since it is an off-roading build. I'm actually surprised this thing is pretty good at off-roading. I uh, did not expect it to be that great. but it seems to be holding its own fairly well. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please drop a like. Overall, the Anis Hellion is an excellent off-roader in GTA Online. If you are into off-roading and lifted vehicles, I would definitely recommend picking one up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this content. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Please stay safe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.